Hey Aries, and welcome to your August 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. And a really benevolent, auspicious month for you, Aries. I feel like your energy is um, one of the most um, lucky of this month. Um, despite having to kind of deal with a lot of things and understand um, where problem areas have been, you are really thriving this month and you are um, making a really good transformation, I feel, especially after what we were seeing last month, which um, wasn't necessarily good or bad either, um, but I felt like you were a lot more worried last month or you were um, really threatened or felt very threatened by someone or something in your life. And I feel that it is very resolved coming into this month. And I feel like you are very um, encouraged to uh, take the chances you've needed to take to reach out to the universe halfway and to um, embrace the luck that you do have because you are very lucky this month, I feel. Um, I'm really happy to see Nine of Cups, Four of Wands, and Knight of Wands in your reading, um, as well as the other upright court cards that you have. You're really um, embracing a powerfully positive chameleon archetype, I feel, as you are many different things for many different people and for yourself. You do have the Hanged Man reversed in your reading as your only major arcana card this month, um, and I definitely see why that might have come up, because I do think there's a lot of expectation. I feel like a lot of people need a lot of things from you, there are a lot of demands on you to be a lot of things for a lot of people, and you might feel stuck because of that. You might feel like there's not a lot to give to yourself, you might feel like your own goals are taking the back seat, and you are definitely encouraged this month to only give to people in a way that you can still maintain your own progression and your own goals. So definitely as you're moving through August, uh, keep track of what you want, keep track of what you're uh, working towards and keep track of, um, of what has pulled you off of that path in the past. It's important for Aries to remember, I think this month, it's important for you to remember what has distracted you, what has kept you from achieving what you've wanted, and make sure that those things aren't present or aren't developing in a way that that becomes a cycle once more. I do think you're encouraged this month to be among others and to connect socially. Um, you have the Four of Cups reversed and um, Hanged Man reversed, Two of Swords reversed. So a lot of the efforts you might be making to be alone or to be in solitude might make you feel a bit stir crazy or um, like you might just not feel very healthy completely alone right now, which is okay. Aries has had to spend more time alone um, over this year than usual, um, but you have that incredible Four of Wands, Nine of Cups, um, Knight of Wands energy, very social energies coming up, encouraging you to connect with others and to communicate what you've needed to for a while. So I do sense Aries speaking their truth. Um, if there has been someone who has lied to you, or even if you've lied to others, this is a very supported time to um, confront that or to speak your truth and to understand the truth of others. I do feel like there's a need for Aries to not reject that. So if there's something that you don't want to hear, if there's something that someone's trying to tell you, but you feel like above that, or you feel like you don't like that any pers that, that person anymore, so you don't need to um, hear what they have to say, I do feel like it's important for you to hear the words of others and to hear the messages that others have for you, because it does seem to make something click. It makes something click about where you need to go. So um, be very open to I even want to say the recommendations of others, even if it's not necessarily good advice, there's something within that for you to see. As you are being shown a lot from the universe this month, um, I do feel like maybe quite a few things have been hidden, or you've avoided certain things, or certain things have avoided you. Um, I just keep feeling very strongly that Aries sees something a little bit surprising or a little bit unexpected, and that this has been here for a long time, but it was just a bit hidden. So be very aware of what was once hidden in your life coming out. Um, Jupiter's in Scorpio, uh, all of these retrograde planets, Mercury retrograde, um, things that used to feel hidden are kind of very obvious, and obvious things can become more hidden. So there's a bit of a um, philosophical poetry right now present Aries and I do feel like your sign can benefit from it a lot more than some others because maybe you can see the humor behind it but try to watch out for the temper um, I don't really sense it to be that terrible but I just it's something that I intuitively feel that um, Aries could be very frustrated or that Mars energy could really um, come out strongly if you're not like where you saw yourself now like I mean if you're not if you've not gotten as far as you thought that you would get by now previously, um, or if 
people come out with difficult truths. I do sense Aries to be a little bit um, unchained and uh, very, very uh, vibrant energetically. So watch out for temper, watch out for um, explosions or nuclear explosions. I would say watch out for Scorpios, watch out for Sages perhaps, and Capricorns even, um, because it feels like the energy might uh, not connect very well, um, or if you are having to communicate a lot, or if you live with these signs, um, try to keep things simple. Um, watch out for getting too complicated with things. Um, those signs can be a little bit insatiable right now and can kind of turn anything into a huge deal. So I feel that Aries doesn't need that complexity in their lives right now. Um, again, as a positive side, don't be afraid to socially connect, um, as I was saying, with um, perhaps other signs than that, but if you don't know people's signs, just keep things simple. Um, and like more acquaintance relationships are kind of good right now. I would kind of, if, if I were in Aries, I would watch out for relationships that are too deep or too um, long term right now until maybe we get into September. Um, just because simple, light things which don't have a lot on the line are best for you right now. Because Aries can kind of shift up and find themselves in a difficult place if things are too... Um, demanding or to like life or death scenario etc anyway Aries I am going to go ahead and get into the week to week so we can see what specifically is coming up for you in the first week of August you have four of cups reversed rooted down by knight of wands um, you are coming out of it, coming out of a depression. That's that's it for a lot of you. If you felt like maybe a lack of energy or a, a lack of desire to be in public places or around a lot of people, you are meeting that with a thrust of life and a desire to thrive. So coming right out of a depression, coming right out of a, um, a cycle of anxiety, very possible in the first week and very beautiful. Um, it feels like you could have been trying too hard uh, to change things or trying too hard to um, change yourself in a way that was not right for you. And you see that now and you're like, I'm going to embrace my true nature. Knight of Wands is a very Aries type of energy. Um, it's so fiery. So really uh, being athletic could be great. Um, watch out for too much heat. Um, this is again the summer months. And I know in the Northern Hemisphere, this summer has been really um, crazy. So watch out for heat. But any type of exercising, any type of um, endorphin rush is really good. And um, also... It will be important for you to be mobile, I feel, to be many places. Traveling is very um, uh, good for you right now. Watch out for being in the same place too long. You have kind of become more of a homebody, I feel, over this year. But you are encouraged to be in different places, to keep yourself moving, to keep the energy um, sustained, and to keep your vibration high. Um, in the second week, Four of Wands are down by King of Cups reversed. I mean, look how similar that is to your first week. It's almost like the opposite of your first week in the sense that you have that reversed cups card and the upright wands card just on opposite ends. So what a wonderful balance you have achieved, Aries. I feel this to be very strong yin-yang energy, um, perfect dualistic accomplishments. Um, that's very potent, very quantum, very magical uh, what's coming up there. You are saying goodbye to a depressive tendency. Um, a lot of you are just waking up one morning with um, the anxiety healed or with the strange endocrine problem healed. Um, that's definitely emphasized for a lot of people, endocrine problems, problems uh, relating to the hormonal axis within your body. So I feel that you are healing that right now. Very encouraged to be on exercise regimens or health regimens, which are not too extreme. But even so, you even more so encouraged is that sort of dualistic, incredible um, facing, like facing yourself with that type of energy, with that type of fire and water energy over the first two weeks of August is so healing and so incredible and so potent to see. Um, I just really love that um, I almost want to call it a symmetry. There's a symmetry there. Um, you're, you're really having a sacred symmetry this month where you are weighing things, balancing things, um, and really achieving symmetry, which is so rare to see. Congratulations, Aries, you have done something right. Um, but you could see that when you become so symmetrical that people start gravitating to you. Very magnetic. I'm not surprised with, you know, um, four court cards in your reading. There could be four people, like new people to come into your life. Um, or four people who feel different um, that, that come in who kind of try to learn. Um, and that's not going to be bad for all of you. Like some of you may enjoy the process of teaching others how to achieve this type of balance. 
Um, but some of you are going to need to not be drained by that, so just check in with yourself, because that's going to be different for different Aries. Um, but do pay attention to who comes in and why they're there. What type of personalities do these people who come in during this time have? What is that trying to teach you? It does feel like you're pulling in the types of people that you may uh, um, have similarities with in the future. So see what you need to learn. Um, even if it's old relationships that are coming back in, what about that person could you apply or detach from in your own life? I feel Aries really grows through that as well. Um, but otherwise, for the second week, you could be celebrating something. You could be um, going around to a lot of places, having a lot of get-togethers, and consummating something. So really giving life to a business or even conception could be possible for those of you who have been trying to have children. That's very supported during that time. Um, very easy uh, to be fertile then, whether it be uh, to have children, to create an incredible business, or to accomplish your goals. There is strong fertility there. Um, so definitely do some actions related to what you want to birth into the world during that week if you feel right about it. Week number three, Queen of Cups, rooted down by Two of Swords, reversed. Okay, so we're getting into a little bit more difficult territory there. You're going to have very powerful examples, Aries, of how you've been too much for too many people. Um, what do I mean by that? You've gained more empathy and more emotional understanding than Aries typically does during this uh, cosmic experience. Um, um, I'm sorry, you guys, I just got a little bit of a download and I'm just trying to understand what's coming through there. Um, I got, I'll come back to the thought that I was just putting together in a second, but I got a really strong surge of um, like, like a clairvoyant type of experience. And I just, I saw like the three, like the four of wands, nine of cups and knight of pentacles. Um, and you see how they have like yellow backgrounds something about that like really hit me like I was just uh, looking away from my spread and then I like looked back and it like for some reason just like really like, like my brain was like what what's that mean um, and I just kind of got a really strong visual image of like three experiences kind of overlapping each other in your life so maybe you have um, three people or three experiences three circumstances that are um, kind of merging and it feels kind of like a deja vu type of thing it feels like you're having a lot of synchronicities, you're having a lot of, um, you know, things coming together, which just feels like it almost breaks reality. Um, and that's the best that I can describe it. And there's something about that relating to like the Queen of Cups and Two of Swords energy, where you've had to be so much for so many people, you've had to um, play so many different roles for so many different people that you've almost sort of... Um, scratched the reality that you're in just a little bit so it's going to be very important for Aries despite having this incredible symmetry to remember their humanity and to remember um that their life force has to come before the healing of other people and this this is feeling like really like scorpionic to me too I I, I was feeling something like this for Scorpio most definitely too this month um about uh sort of reality feeling a bit strange and the role that you're having to serve for other people draining you quite a lot um, and I'm feeling it even more for you than I am for them Aries so that's that's very interesting to see this overwhelmingly positive experience coming in while at the same time a um, dist distortion of what your experience of life has been so this is very deep there's a, an extreme depth to your experience right now which um, not to say that you guys aren't deep but you are the first sign of the zodiac so a lot of the time Aries experience can be um, pretty flat and pretty um, straight forward to the point. Um, obviously that'll be different if you have a very weighty moon or strong configuration in your chart, but um, this is complex for Aries. There are a lot of layers, a lot of layers in what you're going through right now, and you do have to see them. There's an undoubtedly, undoubtedly, Aries has to see the layers that are present. Um, it has to do with where your energy comes from. It has to do with who you give and get energy from in your life and how that is transmuted into your own, into your desire to achieve, your desire to have a purpose or um, maintain a purpose in your life. Uh, so how did we get a little bit distorted with that, Aries? Um, because you are, I will say, um, coming right into August, the symmetry reforms itself. So depending on what point of time you're listening to this reading, I feel like if you're listening to this in later August, you've already kind of solved it. I think that most Aries 
fix this problem even in the first half of August and it might already be over, but you're gonna send, you're gonna have changes. Like the life is going to feel different. The um, directions are gonna feel different. The roadmap, the road signs, like what, what direction you're going, how quickly you're going in your purpose are going to suddenly alter quite a lot. And it's not bad, it's not bad, but prepare yourselves, prepare yourselves. Don't really brace yourselves, but um, prepare for a bit of shift in speed or direction or a change in just the way you're experiencing life. Um, it's so beautiful, it's so wonderful, but it doesn't come without a vision of the layers, of the layers that are present. Um, this is very abstract, you all. This is very, probably maybe difficult to correlate to your own experience, but I'm just letting the channeling come through in whatever way that it does, because I feel something probably deeper than any of the other signs this month, or more complex, more, um, more faceted, more faceted than a lot of the other signs, with a lot of possibilities, a lot of ways to use it. Um, you're not going to be able to force yourself to be everything for everybody and yourself this month, I will say that. Um, it's okay to be loyal, it's okay to do what you have promised to do, but it's um, going to be important to maybe say no to some things or to replace some events that you have or something because there, there's something that's just like pulling too much out of you and I feel like it's your energy is needing conservation this month for sure. Um, anyway, I'm hoping that that small rant kind of <laughs> made sense uh, as I kind of went off on a tangent there. Um, but you are energized and disenergized at the same time. You have that yellow solar plexus energy of the Four of Wands, Nine of Cups, and Knight of Pentacles, but you also have a grayness and a dullness in the rest of the reading. So there's a lot of energy one day, then a, like not very much the next day, and it's all about the integration and about balancing that out. Um, because I do feel like if you keep functioning in this like layered way, like in one layer I can have all this energy, but in another layer I have to compensate and really drag myself down. Um, it does feel like you can make yourself quite ill or make yourself quite um, unhappy if you keep up with such distorted energetic patterning. So the key to this, I feel, is consistency, continuity, and routine. I do feel that way, and it, that's not always the greatest thing for Aries, um, so I don't always recommend that for y'all, because again, you're a very pioneering, spontaneous energy, and the beauty of you is the the explosion. You know, Aries is kind of like the cosmic boom that, you know, creates planets. It's the ultimate beginning fire, cardinal fire energy. But just for this short amount of time in August, Aries, it does feel like a routine is needed, and I bet this has to do with the Capricorn uh, retrograde stuff that we have going on with Pluto and Saturn and Mars coming heading that way as well because um, that's kind of demanding everyone to structure and everyone to um, work on the predictability of their life and the maintenance the maintenance of uh, from the sense of like maintaining a schedule maintaining a way of being so definitely think about those structures in your own life this month Aries as you're gonna see in the third week the disconnect for sure if there is one and that's not going to be right for all Aries but if it's there it will have come out by then but you're also going to have the incredible example that the first two weeks showed you of um, how balanced things are uh, for sure so third week just watch out for emotional vampires watch out for people who are taking more than you can give and do protect yourself like uh, you are protected but I feel like um, you know, protection mantras or affirmations are very good during that time. Um, as it's, this isn't to sound scary at all, Aries, but you have to be a little bit on guard, but not obvious about it and not, not like guarded and blindfolded in the Two of Swords, because Two of Swords is never really an encouraged energy. It's never really a great or positive benefic card to me, but I do feel like it can recommend in this type of placement that you do have to be protected in some way. So anyway, fourth week, Knight of Pentacles, you're down by the Hanged Man, reversed. Um, your thoughts are all over the place. You are having like a lot of like, you're like really happy about where you are, then you're kind of like feeling very stagnant and stuck in that situation. Um, you may have to move out soon. You may have to move along or change the location or the uh, mind frame quite soon. Knight of Pentacles to me with the Hanged Man, uh, says that we are about to have motion in a stagnant situation. So things which have been stuck for a long time will start to break off and start to um, have movement once more. 
Also, make sure that you're not being uh, constrained by other people. I feel like when you have a court card mixed with the hanged man, it can say that perhaps that type of energy is trying to uh, constrain you or trying to hold you back. Um, that's not going to be right for everybody. Don't let that be like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, you're going to know it if you're going if that's like right for you. You'll know it before you saw this. Um, and you can just treat it as a validation, but someone could be trying to control you or exert power over you. Um, and it might be important for them to see you uh, stuck like this. So see if that person exists. It's feeling like an earthy energy. And again, with all that Capricorn retrograde action going on, I wouldn't be surprised if um, Aries did have like a Capricorn or it could be Taurus or Virgo energy who... Um, even if they want what's best for you, it's like too controlling. It's holding you down too much. Um, and it will be good for you to redraw a boundary or to um, leave that situation behind for sure. And protecting yourself from that situation uh, is definitely encouraged. I think that you're going to be good though, Aries. I'm really happy to see Nine of Cups as your central theme for this month because that does say you're protected. That does say that luck is on your side. Um, so for those of you who are going through quite... Um, shocking scenarios do remember that at the end of the day you are very protected and you are very lucky so um it might feel like a bit of an oxymoron considering the depth of your experience this month i don't even want to say the difficulty it's not really a matter of difficulty or a matter of um, inescapability or even being necessarily constrained although you may feel that way it's a matter of how hard that hits you and how potent that is for you and obviously you're in complete control of that so that's where your saving grace is is you do feel completely in control so no aries being like well i'm being controlled by other people and i have no power over this situation you very well may be being controlled but you have the ability to change that for sure and i, I feel that so strongly any situation for aries which is um negative or causing problems is very malleable and changeable from Aries themselves. So anyway, you all, I'm so happy for you this month because you're going to see it. You're going to see where the problem area is. If it exists for you, some of you already did this two months ago um, and now you're thriving. So feel free to comment uh, for those of you Aries who have already kind of transcended the situation, um, support those Aries who have um, had to deal with it very recently in the comments below. I would love that. Um, also, be sure to just like comment how you're doing. Did, did, did this make sense? I know that tangent was a little bit like, um, you know, abstract, but I hope that it resonated and I hope that it made sense. If this did not, I hope you'll check your sun, moon, rising sign as that uh, might resonate more. And also, you can click the center of your screen to see my Patreon page and get these readings early and ad-free. You can check the description box below to find me on social media and reach out if you would like to book a reading or connect with me. Also, um, if you haven't had the chance to subscribe yet, I would so appreciate that. Much love, Aries, and we will be talking soon. Uh, bye!